Now let's look at an example that can be solved with L'Hopital's rule. I'm going to show you a limit problem that we can't solve with an ordinary substitution because it leads to an indeterminate form. And we'll talk about what it means for it to be indeterminate. And I'll show you that it can't be solved with the ordinary simplification. And then I'll show you how to apply L'Hopital's rule to get an answer in such a situation. So here's the problem. The limit as x approaches 1 of x squared plus 3x minus 4 over the natural log of x. Now remember, the first and typically easiest approach to solving a limit problem is to try to substitute the x value in for the variable. So we're going to put x equals 1 in for x. And when we do that, we get 1 squared plus 3 times 1 minus 4 over the natural log of 1. Okay, and so this is 1 plus 3 minus 4, that's 0, over the natural log of 1, which is also 0. Now this is an example of what we call an indeterminate form. And it's not indeterminate simply because we can't divide by 0. It's important to know why we can't determine what, what the answer is here. The answer could be 0, or it could be infinity, or it could be some finite value in between. And here's why. What we have here is the limit of a fraction. There's a numerator and denominator. And you can think of the numerator as one function and the denominator as another. And that's actually important for L'Hopital's rule. These are two separate functions. And both of these functions cross the axis at x equals 1. We see that because they both have a value of 0 at x equals 1. So this function, x squared plus 3x minus 4 over the natural log of x, can't be evaluated at x equals 1. But near x equals 1, as x approaches 1, as we get really close to 1, this might actually have a value. And the reason is because these two functions right here might not approach their zero value at the same rate. One might actually be a little bit bigger than the other as we get close to zero. And so if, for example, if the, the numerator is several times bigger than the denominator as we get close to zero, then we'll end up with some number for the answer. Or if the uh, denominator is several times bigger than the numerator, then we'll end up with some fractional value, some tiny, tiny number for the answer. Or if the, the numerator is heading towards zero uh, a whole lot faster than the denominator. In other words, as we get near one, if the numerator goes to zero much, much faster than the denominator, then it's possible that the, the numerator becomes negligible compared to the denominator and the entire expression evaluates to zero. And it's also possible to have the reverse of that. If the uh, denominator is heading to zero much, much faster than the numerator, then as we get near zero, we're essentially dividing some value by some incredibly tiny value and it could be explosively large. So it could end up being infinity. We can't determine from this. It might be 0, it might be infinity, it might be something in between, but it's indeterminate. Now, L'Hopital's rule applies in a case like this, when we have an indeterminate form. Now, up to this point, when we've tried to evaluate limits, when we get something that evaluates to 0 over 0, the typical approach is to try to simplify the expression, and then hopefully the simplified expression will be able to be evaluated for that value of the variable. Now, in this case, this doesn't simplify easily. We see a quadratic here in the numerator, and we might be able to factor the quadratic, but even if we can, we're not going to factor out a natural log of x. We're not going to be able to simplify that. So this doesn't simplify easily. L'Hopital's rule is the approach that we apply here. And L'Hopital's rule says this, that when you have the limit of one function over another, and it evaluates to an indeterminate form, then you can take the derivative of the numerator and the derivative of the denominator. 
and then try to evaluate the limit again. So according to L'Hopital's rule, this limit, if it's indeterminate, will be equal to the limit as x approaches 1 of the derivative of the numerator over the derivative of the denominator. So let's do that. Let's take these derivatives, and that's easy in this case. The derivative of the numerator is 2x plus 3, and the derivative of natural log of x is 1 over x. And look at this. This can be evaluated at x equals 1. If we put in a 1 right there and there, this just becomes 2 times 1 plus 3 over 1 over 1, which is 1. So that's 2 plus 3, which is 5. This actually works out to be a value. 0 over 0 uh, is what we get from the original expression. But near x equals 1, this function has a value of 5 or approaches a value of 5. So that's L'Hopital's rule. If you have a limit that evaluates to an indeterminate form and that limit is a limit of one function over another, then you can try taking the derivative of the numerator and the derivative of the denominator and then try taking the limit again. So let's actually write this. This is L'Hopital's rule. It says this, the limit as x approaches c of f of x over g of x is equal to the limit as x approaches c of f prime of x over g prime of x. Okay, so the limit of f over g is equal to the limit of the derivative of f over the derivative of g. Okay, now realize that this is not true in general. This is true in certain situations. And the situation of note is this is true when the original, original limit evaluates to an indeterminate form. And then the other caveats also apply. Uh, function g has to exist, of course, <coughs> and the functions have to be different differentiable. But that's the statement of L'Hopital's rule, and just know that it applies to indeterminate forms. Now, in practice, it's often used a little bit differently. It's often used like this, the limit as x approaches c of f of x over g of x. So if you find yourself in this situation, trying to evaluate a limit of one function over another and it's indeterminate, then you can often just do this do the derivative of function f at c divided by the derivative of function g at c. So the limit as x approaches c of f, f of x over g of x is f primed of c over g primed of c. And you can see that's essentially what we did in this problem. This was the derivative of the numerator, and we just put in our x value right there, and the derivative of the denominator, and we put in our x value right there. So that's how it's often used in practice. But this is the, uh, the complete statement of L'Hopital's rule, and written this way is sometimes referred to as the stronger form of L'Hopital's rule.